comes to the world. Section 84, subsection 9, 10 and 11, among others. This, however, cannot be said about one provision as contained in the proposed bill, which provision constitutes fundamental defect as it is in conflict with extant constitutional provisions. Sections Section 84, subsection 12, constitutes a disenfranchisement of serving political office holders from voting or being voted for at conventions or congresses of any political party for the purpose of the nomination of candidates for any election in cases where it holds earlier than 30 days in the national election. The section provides as follows. No political appointee at any level shall be voting delegate or be voted for at the convention or congress of any political party for the purpose of the nomination of candidates for any election. This provision has introduced qualification and disqualification criteria that ultra virus the constitution by way of importing blanket restriction and disqualification to serving political office holders of which they are constitutionally accorded protection. The practical application of section 84 Subsection 12 of the Electoral Bill 2022 will, if assented to by operation of law, subject certain political office holders to inhibitions and restrictions referred to under Section 40 and 42 of the 1999 Constitution as amended. It is imperative to note that the only constitutional expectation placed on certain political office holders that qualify by extension as family officers within the context of the constitution is the resignation, withdrawal or retirement at least 30 days before the date of the election. Hence, it will be stretching things beyond the constitutional limit to import extraneous restriction into the constitution on account of practical application of section 8 4 subsection 12 of the bill where political parties conventions and congresses were to hold earlier the 30 days to the election arising from the foregoing with particular regards to the benefits of the bill, industry, time, sources, and energy committed in its passage, I hereby assent to the bill and request the National Assembly to consider immediate amendments that will bring the bill in tune with constitutionality by way of deleting section. 84, subsection 12, accordingly. Thank you, and may God bless our dear country. Thank you, Excellency, Mr. President. Senator Omorare will present the bill for signing and to join Mr. President during the signing are the following personalities. To his left will be His Excellency the Senate President, the Speaker House of Representatives, and Chairman of Senate and House Committee on INEC. Chairman, Senate and INEC Committee on INEC to Mr. President's left. And to Mr. President's right will be the Secretary to the Government of the Federation 
I'm the chief of staff to the president. Thank you. Thank you.